Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tyler with Tarver Academy, the YouTube channel you're watching right now. If you wanna hit the red subscribe button, it'll literally change your life, maybe, or not. Today, I wanna to talk to you about classroom etiquette when you're doing online video, okay? So this is mostly for students, but also teachers. You're in some meetings too, so this is for you as well. I've been a teacher and a principal of schools that have had online video, online classes. A lot of this I've learned just from being the person presenting, and that way I know what I expect out of the people that are listening. So the first tip I have for you, number one, is you need to get in the class before you get in the class. So as soon as you receive the link on how to get in there, go ahead and try to sign on to make sure you're in there. And when you do that, it'll say something like waiting on the host or you're the only one in here. That just makes sure that you have everything downloaded and ready to go before you try to get in the class, okay? That way you're not 30 minutes late or 20 minutes late or whatever because you couldn't, you didn't know you had to do this program and get this add on and to just make sure that you're ready to get in the class beforehand. So sign in before the date just to make sure you can and then make sure you sign out because you don't want to just be in the class all the time. Number two, the etiquette for once you get in the class when it starts, you sign on and you wait till nobody's talking. There's a gap in the conversation like everybody's saying hello, they're coming into the class. You wait and you say, hello, Miss so-and-so, or hello, Mr. so-and-so, this is Tyler, can you hear me? They're gonna go, yes, how are you doing? I'm doing great, so good to hear from you. You too, and then you hit mute. You want to address them to make sure they can hear you, make sure that everything's working, you have audio permission, and then you wanna hit mute. Mute is your friend whenever you're doing online video classes or online video meetings. You'll mute anytime you're not talking, and then when you don't mute, like you unmute it, that's when you're gonna say something. It's the only time you're unmuted, okay? That's important. If you get nothing else, please do that. The third thing, you need to be an active listener, okay? And that looks different. You can't just say, that's good, or I hear you, that's lovely. Oh, that's so nice, thank you. You can't do that in an online classroom. What you have to do is you give, see that, that's thumbs up. That, that means that I agree with it. Or if someone makes a good point, then point at them. They say something, you go. It's a whole lot of like facial expressions. And also if you're listening, you're doing this. You're looking at them and you're, you're learning. You, you would do like you would do in a classroom. And if you're taking notes, you're just like, oh. And then you like write down your notes. You're still looking up and paying attention to the camera. If you're out here typing or if you've got your phone off the screen, they know you're not listening. Be a listener, be engaged in the class. As teachers, we want you to be paying attention to us. Is be active in the chat. So a lot of these classes have chats on the side. You can talk in there. You can say that was good or, oh, here's the link to that. Or did you mean this? It's a good way to get little questions answered without having to stop the teacher or interrupt, okay? And I'm gonna talk about that one here in a second too. Take notes. While you're in class, even if you know you're not gonna be tested on this, take notes because what that does is that shows that whatever they're saying, you are processing it as important. I like to take paper notes on here. I never take paper notes. Meetings, any, I don't like taking paper notes. However, when I'm doing a video online class, it seems counterintuitive. I like to take notes because they can see me listening. You go, oh, that's good. I just scribbled on my paper, but it looked like I was taking notes on this video. You want to take notes. I like paper notes. If you're typing, people would think that you're maybe texting or emailing or doing something else. This, they know you're not texting somebody on paper. Just make sure you're on mute because you don't want click, 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 click. Nobody wants that, okay? No click, click, clacks. Turn on the setting where you can see every screen. You don't just want to see the person talking. It's good to see other people in the class. That way, one, you can read what everybody else is doing. So if like you're not doing something you should be, and they're all like writing something, and you're like, oh, I'm not writing something. And I've got a video below if you're like, I don't know how to turn that on for Google Hangout in the description. Whenever you're doing class like this, it's easy for people to talk, talk over each other. other. So I always default to not talk unless I'm at. However, in the process of a class, you will have questions. So here's the, the etiquette for asking questions in class. If you can just ask it in the chat, just type it in the chat, maybe another student or someone else in there will type it in and answer it. So it's a good way to let them keep the class rolling, but you on the side can get your little questions answered. Like what did they say here? Or what was point number three? Stuff like that. You don't want to throw roadblocks in the process of the teacher teaching. Does that make sense? If you can on the questions, don't ask them during that class, if it's something that's you know just individual for you or just applies to your assignment or what you're doing, email the teacher afterwards or ask, stay later after they close down the class, stay on video, and then just be like, hey, I had a question about this, this, and this, okay? As long as it doesn't like prevent you from learning through like the second half of the class, 
If it's something that's gonna apply later, ask them as the class is closing up. That way other people can get out of there that don't need to be. It's like stopping and talking to the teacher after the bell rings. You're taking up your time, not their time and the rest of the class's time. And the last one, and this one is just more of a pet peeve of mine, but I think it gets on a lot of people's nerves that are teaching class. You ever watch somebody record something on their phone or on their computer? And like, if you're looking here and they're like right here, they're doing this and they're talking to you and they're doing this, it's because they're looking at themselves, most likely. Now with video classes, they could be looking at you, the teacher, but that's the thing you're not looking at them they're looking at the camera so you this would be looking at them so when you're talking look at the camera whenever you're a teacher whenever you're a student asking a question whatever you're looking at the camera because everybody's looking at your screen and that looks like you're looking at them what I'll do a lot of times is I'll get my phone or my iPad and I'll put the camera right next to the camera on my laptop if like I'm taking notes or something. That way I'm looking really close to it and I can still see. You can also a lot of times move your screen on like FaceTime or whatever up in the corner to where you can see it next to the camera. That's what I got. That's my student classroom etiquette. Um, I hope this helped. I hope this helps you be a better student in your online classes and helps you learn and grow. My name is Tyler. This is Tarver Academy. We have videos on everything for teachers and students to learn, grow, and have fun. So if you would subscribe, um, if you don't, you'll probably fail every test that you ever take. That's not true, but you could. I don't know, I didn't make the rules. Blah, blah, okay, in the video. See you guys later, bye.